What is the bravest creature in the world? The lion? Sharks. It must be humans, you say. Well, you are wrong. According to the Guinness Book of Records, the African honey badger is the most fearless animal in the world. Despite its diminutive size, which could make it go underrated, this little bundle of trouble is worth more than its weight in the amount of fight it can dish out. They are well known and respected in the wild by every beast out there. A video entitled The Crazy Honey Badger surfaced in January 2011 and it went viral instantly. This video was a compilation of multiple honey badgers doing their thing, which is nothing short of ferocious and fearless, but also surprising. This video of barely four minutes has gathered over 100 million views on YouTube, alongside other uncountable videos of honey badgers, in evidence of how formidable these little badgers are. I need your help! My wife was eaten by rabid honey badgers! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what is wrong with you? Why are you laughing? Oh, shit. Are you... you're serious? I, I am so sorry, that's terrible. Still not convinced? Let's get into a bit of detail about this creature of wonder, capable of fighting off much larger predators like hyenas and even the king of the jungle itself. Honey badgers have plenty of reasons to be fearless. They possess thicker skin than many mammals in the animal kingdom. Their skin, which is at least 6 millimeters thick, is significantly thicker than that of a buffalo, an animal 50 times the badger's size. Their skin is so tough that it has been shown to be nearly unaffected by traditionally made arrows and spears. As if that were not enough, their skin can sufficiently take a full hit from a sharp machete without successfully cutting the skin all the way through. A honey badger's skin is a world-class defense mechanism as it protects it from bee stings, porcupine quills, and predators with sharp teeth like snakes. Being tough is a big advantage, but being tough and flexible takes the game to a whole new level, and this is honey badger territory. Its skin is fairly loose, especially on its neck and back. Aside from the loose skin allowing it quite a bit of freedom of movement, it particularly aids it when attacked by larger predators. When other prey find themselves in the clutches of predators, their chances of escape are usually little to none. But not the honey badger. The honey badger can squirm about in its skin even while being held by a much larger animal. It can get its long claws and mouth filled with sharp teeth in such a position to deliver a sharp, ferocious bite to the predator holding it, because its loose skin allows it to twist and turn freely. Let's paint a picture here. Imagine a lion holding a honey badger in its jaw. The badger can simply squirm around all thanks to its loose skin and viciously attack the lion's face and eyes. After such an experience, a lion will likely think twice before attacking another honey badger. Honey badgers take on animals way larger than itself such as leopards, lions, tigers, and hyenas. They will attack until they have no more ounce of strength, an endurance that is especially needed when fighting these larger animals. They are also known to be among the grumpiest animals in the world and are easily annoyed. One of the favored fighting techniques of the honey badger is to go for their opponent's testicles, an appropriately unfathomable and vicious tactic. Honey badgers usually have these face-offs with larger predators and will sometimes kill the younger ones. Even the king of the jungle does not scare the honey badger. Although lions are apex predators and do have some physical advantages over a badger, the title and these advantages mean nothing to the honey badger. They are ever ready to jump into a fight regardless of the size of their opponent. They also have long claws reaching up to two inches and a ferocious bite force enough to break into a tortoise shell. In fact, their bite force is said to be significantly stronger than that of the brown bear or the American black bear when measured per square inch. The honey badger's razor-sharp teeth are readily displayed when it growls or hisses. With their large, resourceful claws, honey badgers can dig quickly into the hardest of soils. It takes just a few minutes for these animals to retrieve food from underground. Honey badgers are also known as marathoners, not sprinters with a top speed of up to 19 miles per hour, which could be considered slow for an environment such as the African wilderness, where every predator is super fast. These creatures generally rely on the persistence of their chase rather than their speed. It appears everything about this animal is designed for massive defense, because in addition to the already mentioned fortifications, the honey badger can reverse its rear end 
turning it inside out. With this, they can spew odorous secretions to stun or fend off predators. Though so named for their affinity to raid beehives, honey badgers mainly hunt rodents, reptiles, and insect larvae, and on occasions, cheetah cubs, antelope calves, and eagle chick. Some of their prey are venomous, which includes the cape cobra and puff adder. Although it's not exactly known how the honey badger's body almost constantly resists the effects of the deadly venom from such venomous snakes, however, they are believed to have developed some sort of immunity to venom over a lifetime of bites and stings. It's also believed that the venom from snakes could eventually kill the honey badger if a snake strikes them enough. If a snake manages to inject enough venom into the badger, it would take some time for the venom to take effect and the snake will most probably be dead when this eventuality happens. Honey badgers are not all brawl and have no brains though. They are very intelligent animals. According to research, only a few animals have been recorded to have the ability to use tools in the wild and solve puzzles. These brainy creatures have been observed rolling logs to use them as bridges or build a ladder to allow them to escape from enclosures, which makes keeping them in captivity very challenging as they always seem to find a way to escape. Honey badgers can also use mud, stones, and even sticks as tools when hunting. They are capable of living almost anywhere. They do not have permanent homes, rarely stay in place, and also tend to live under burrows. Rattels, as they are also called, do take over the burrows of other animals. Imagine getting home to find out a stranger has taken over and there is nothing you can do about it. These animals have been seen sleeping in the dens of foxes and even termite mounds. Honey badgers can stay active both day and night, depending on the season, making them cathemeral. During the cooler months, they are diurnal, meaning they can be found to be most active during the day. When the warmer season sets in, badgers live near human settlements and they switch to being mainly nocturnal. For an animal who packs so much awesomeness, honey badgers are solitary animals and they often hunt alone, meeting up only to mate, after which they go their separate ways. Although they prefer mating during the months of September to October, honey badgers can mate at any time of year. While they are known to be aggressive and grumpy, this is not the case when it comes to taking care of their young. Baby honey badgers are born hairless, helpless, and blind. Mother badgers raise their cubs alone, carrying them to new burrows frequently. It takes up to two months for the eyes of cubs to be open, and they remain with their mothers for protection, learning important survival skills. Young honey badgers leave when they get to 14 months of age and can sometimes stay up to two years. Female honey badgers are usually careful to stay out of each other's way, with no documented cases of female honey badgers coming together. And should the territories of two female honey badgers overlap, they stay clear of one another, leaving scent trails to mark their territory. The honey badger is seemingly afraid of only a few things, if anything at all. It has its combination of efficient default offensive and defensive capabilities to thank for that. With their high aggressiveness, even predators such as lions and leopards majorly avoid them. Nevertheless, honey badgers have been known to be killed by leopards and lions, so the tables do turn, but not so often. While the honey badger can be an extremely dangerous animal, it usually only attacks when there appears to be no other choice, which would be when it feels threatened or cornered. In situations like these, it will attack even humans and anything standing in its way. The National Geographic Channel describes honey badgers as the meanest animals in the world. Don't you wish you had as much courage as the honey badger?